is ultimately the engine of all sales and all growth in any business. If you believe in the product that you're doing, you will drive success. And let me begin with a couple of interesting things. When you ask people, as my friend Jim Cousins has, ask people all over the world, why do you admire leaders? Why do you follow them? What makes you want to follow a particular leader? He's asked that in 25 countries for almost 30 years now. It doesn't vary by country. It has changed almost, uh, uh, al almost in a negligible way in 25, 30 years. What we admire from leaders is very simple. Number one thing, all over the world, 90% of people say one of the top reasons I follow a leader is they are honest. I trust them. Francine said this earlier, trust is everything. Doing what we say we're going to do, taking an interest in people's lives, being worthy and honest and transparent, very important. But then the number two thing all over the world is I want my leader to be inspiring. It's more important than being um, supportive. It's more important than being caring. It's more important than being organized or diligent or ambitious or intelligent. They want us to inspire them. They want us to, to, to show them something that they are a part of that is more noble. And I'll tell you some really fascinating uh, research that's been done at Yale University. It turns out that uh, Amy Wazisky at Yale University has found out that people see their jobs in one of three ways. Every one of you in this room and every person who works for you see our jobs in one of three ways. First of all, we see it as a job. And that means it's, it's merely a, uh, uh, something we have to do to make a living, a set of tasks. It's just a job. You know, it's just basically what I have to do for a living. By the way, in Spanish, the word trabajo comes from the, which means work, comes from the word torture. So, you know, that's kind of the people see is just getting through the day. The second thing is some people see their job as a career. And that is their job is kind of a stepping stone to accomplish something that they want to have in their life. A nicer house, a nicer car, status, power, influence, whatever that might be. The job is a stepping stone to something they want in their life. And then the third way is some people see their job as a calling. Calling coming from the Latin word vocato, to be called out, meaning I see a deeper purpose in my work. I believe my work is a calling, something in which I am making a big difference in the world. Now, you say, this is interesting, but what's really more interesting is what Amy Wazisky has found out about the impact of how you see your job in one of those three ways. It turns out, by the way, that people who see their job as a calling work longer hours, work harder, are more committed, are more willing to sell, are more happy, and you keep going down the line about eight different outcomes in which people who see their job as a calling are fundamentally different than people who even see their job as a career. Because some say, well, it's okay just to see my job as a career. No, the magic is when people see their job as making a difference. So the challenge, by the way, as a leader is how do I help people, beginning with myself, see that more noble purpose? And the first is, it's about really understanding that every task and every job has a, a task purpose and a higher purpose. Let's use a simple example. Uh, you know, I, again, am that, am that, you know, customer service rep, and you've asked me to, to get people to have other bank accounts and credit cards and other things that they might upsell, if you will. We don't want to use that word, but let's use it. That's what we're doing. We're upselling. We're trying to get a bigger piece of the wallet and trying to make a difference for clients at the same time. Let me ask you a question. If that person trying to upsell that client sees that task, as making more money for RBC versus making a difference in the lives of that client, of that customer, will they be more proud, more willing, and more bold in offering that? What do you think? Of course they will. If I see that as I'm making a difference, I'm going to fundamentally see that in a different way. It matters how we see our jobs. And so the first thing as a leader is we have to continually reinforce that, connect the dots for people. I know you've seen me talk about that on the videos, but what does that mean? It means every meeting begins with an example of the higher purpose. Every time we go through the numbers, we remind people of the real difference that makes in the lives of customers. When we are challenging people to upsell or to offer more products and services to a client, we are constantly and consistently 
connecting the dot to why that actually matters for the client in the moment.